and welcome back to DML. So, we have chapter 2 of the castle event which has just begun in DML. So again, I will walk you through how to do this part of the event, you know, little tips and stuff like that, and you know, we'll see what the story is going into this. So you can see, now we're in chapter 3 of 4, the main rewards for this chapter, if you finish off the castle event, you get the Isis Dragon out of the last chest. Very cool little Divine Dragon overall. If you get all of the pieces from part 1 and part 3, you get the Ra Dragon, which is the second strongest dragon in the whole game. And then you can also get the Palm Dragon, and you can get one of my favourites, the Dial Dragon as well. So, let us head straight into this event. So, the Vikings went back in time so that they could alter history however they wanted and get Eliza to marry Heinrich. Pretty dastardly, huh? Luckily, Eliza and I teamed up to make that kooky inventor quit being such a creep. But the Vikings have really messed with the past. It's up to us to calm the Divine Dragons enough to set things straight. The Anubis Dragon helped us through the Underworld ruins, but it seems a little confused now that we're above ground. Are you done talking to yourself, foolish trainer? I want to make sure Heinrich isn't planning anything else. So, now, just like the first one, it is 400 per, I guess, quest every six hours that you can collect. So we have to collect gold, food, breed, feed, win battles, and catch creatures to get through all of these levels. And by the way, the Palm Dragon has a very strange little animation. It literally drops a coconut out of his hair and then, you know, kicks it away. Very spooky. But, anyway. So, this is Gebnut Village, where my fellow Vikings really whipped the Divines into a frenzy. Heinrich said the Divine Dragons would still be in an uproar, but look, this one doesn't seem angry at all. It's an Isis Dragon, silly. Seems like it wants to help us just like the Anubis Dragon did. How strange. So, this first level here is actually really cool because on the left hand side that was part of the previous castle event so you know they've got that little addition on the side here and there was the entrance to the Anubis temple but now we are headed into this part of the temple and this is the main pyramid look at how cool this looks oh it's like a little village and everything you can go and check it out yourself when you get in game but we need to take on this Dial Dragon. So, whoa! This dragon definitely doesn't want to help us out. It's a Dial Dragon guarding the Dial River. The foolish thing probably thinks it's in danger. Luckily for us, the Isis Dragon is ready to fight. And so am I. So, we're not really going to struggle with this fight because we are 10 levels ahead. But, you know, start off with wind, reduce his attack, and then, you know, I guess just finish him off easiest fight of my life. So now we do have 500 of event currency to start us off, but we will collect quite a lot more from all the other stuff that we have to do here. So, hmm, the Dial Dragons thrashing riled up these silly beasts as well. They won't feel so bad later when we all share some fruit together. Speak for yourself. Oh my god. Like, what better way to make friends with, like, animals? and dragons than to give them food. That's like the best thing that you can do. It's like if you just want to say hello to a little wild animal, just give them like a peanut or something. So if we keep this up, we'll get the Isis Dragon's godly friends back to normal in no time. Ugh, victorious Vikings or not, I just want to get out of here. So now we have to decide what path we want to go on, and it's pretty obvious. The left hand path is cheaper than the right hand path, but you'll probably have to go down both anyway. But, you know, always prioritise going down the cheaper routes first in these castle events, just so that then you can progress quicker. And, you know, if you go and get the Isis Dragon really quickly, then at least you get one Divine, because if you don't even get the Ra Dragon, that doesn't even matter, as long as you at least get one of the Divines out of the event. Obviously, two is better than one, but try and at least get a singular one. So, out of the first chest, we did get a piece for the Ra Dragon, so that's a feels bad, but now we will head on over to this right-hand side. So the first battles, as usual, you're allowed to use any elements, but apparently energy is very, very used in this part of the event. So, um, 
I don't know what we're gonna do if there's some energy only fights, but I guess we will um work that out when we get to it. So I have put VIP on, which means that now we can collect super easily. For food, what I would suggest for you to put in, if it's going to give me my event currency, that is. Did it even give me anything for that? There we go. I think the servers might be um, exploding currently would be the, the nice way to phrase that. But try and put 6 hour food in because then it keeps in pace with the event really well. So dragon scale is really cheap. 6 hours, you can pop that in. All squarey berries are really good. I always suggest using squarey berries again. Six hours, 19 million gold, but very, very good. Again, if you can keep up to speed, like every six hours, log in. Go and collect your food. Go and do your fights quick. You know, you'll be set. It's just, with these events, it is very, very useful to set timers, or at least keep track of it in your mind. Let go, okay, it is 1pm, so 6 hours from now will be 7pm. You know? Makes sense, right? So, try your best to sort of keep yourself on pace, keep yourself up to date, up to speed, and don't forget when you have to be logging in. Obviously, if you've got stuff to do in the day, try and work around that, but again, just keeping it like on the hour or every half an hour will probably help you out with stuff quite a lot. Because if you log in every, like every 17 minutes past one, that, that's going to start being a little bit more annoying to, you know, remember. So there we go. I will pop in our squarey berries here. We also need to breed dragons. And with the breeding, if you're not going to go for the dragon of the week or anything, because very risky going for the matriarch, one of the best breeds you can go for is shadow plus fire or light plus plant works really well also. So I'm actually just going to find a light and a plant dragons. It's easier to just search for it at this point. So this will give us a 10 hour breeding time, will give us the 400 that we need and that will fully deplete that pool. So it's as close as we can get to fully depleting the pool that we need, although you know, it could be better if the event was made better, but you know, we, we deal with it as and when it comes. So do we have any low level dragons even left? Uh, I don't think we even do because we would be using some baby fire dragons to level up, but I don't actually have any room at the moment. So I'm just going to level up these two random guys that are level 10 because I have 57 million food. Like leveling them up to level 20 isn't even an issue. So there we go, we've got all of our scarrows from the feeding as well. So all that we really have left is a few more battles and some catching creatures. So let's go and move on to level two. So say, where does this key lead us, Isis Dragon? Can you take us there? Hmm, looks like he's taking us to the Hathor Dragon's temple. Things are about to get tougher, little trainer. And for that we get a little card pack. I mean, if you're trying to finish off the clan dragons, you know, why not? I mean, I have like a billion of all of them now, so eh. But, so what's the Ath- ha yeah? So what's the Hathor Dragon like? Are you afraid of it and the Dark Eliza? I am not afraid! It's just that the Hathor Dragon is the divine dragon of joy and love. Aw, oh, that sounds so sweet. And the all-powerful Ra Dragon's partner. You don't want to mess with it, and that's exactly what Heinrich did. Ouch. I mean, you definitely do not want to be annoying the gods. That's just a quick FYI. Annoying the gods is generally not a good idea. So sorry for fighting you, Hathor Dragon, but we have to make sure history goes back to normal. Save your apologies until the fight is over, fool. Oh, come on, man. I mean, I'd feel pretty bad about it as well. But this dragon is actually a decently high level. He's actually fallen asleep. Well, he's dazzled, but they all look like they've fallen asleep when that happens, so... There! Don't you feel better, Hathor Dragon? A good battle really brightens the mood. He was asleep for the whole thing. Ugh, you've got a strange way of showing it, Arya, but I do respect your love of battle. And I respect yours. Now come on, you'll feel better too once the Divine Dragons undo all this time travel. So sweet. And now we have three paths on this level. Whoa, look at that huge statue. He looks pretty cool. Um, but 
On this level, again, we have to decide what path we're going to go on. There are going to be these special hieroglyphs in this castle event as well, so I'll do a full location guide for all of those eventually. But, cheaper path for us right now is just going to be to go straight down the middle, because we can do the three fights on the side here. So, might as well go to this chest right here first. So, for this battle, we can use Water, Plan, Energy, Shadow, and Divine. They're already cutting down the elemental allowances very, very quickly. That's scaring me. Again, I'm sure the DML Wiki will be fully updated with everything very soon, but... Oh god, that's scaring me. I mean, we're already down to four elements here as well. Water... Metal, energy, and light. You see, we're already going down to that sort of fire, light, energy only. So as long as Saini can basically two-shot these dragons here, we're fine. But if we start to not have any dragons that we can use, we may have to fully upgrade our Archangel. And at that point, I think we are like dead set on all of the elements that we'll ever need in the game. Because when we get our Archangel, we'll have light and metal that we can use. It's just void and earth then that I think we'd be missing out on. Another piece for the Ra Dragon. Color me surprised. So now you can choose either pathway really and it will be like the same cost. Seems like a pretty expensive level 2 though. So that is as far as we can go for right now. Well, you know, we can finish off the few fights that we have left, but I don't think we can really progress much further. So, as of right now, I'm not sure if Chapter 3 is easier or harder than Chapter 1, whether it's exactly the same. Again, I'm going to give the wiki time to post everything up, get everything detailed and put down if it isn't already. And then we can go through all of that together very soon. But... I mean, I don't want to see it be energy only on the last level. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do it. I am begging you to not do it to me. So there we go. There's the absolute maximum we can do right now. But overall, I hope if you needed it, sort of my explanation of all that made sense and, you know, the little things that you can do for the collecting food and feeding and stuff like that. But obviously... If you do have any other questions regarding the event, you can let me know. My main goal for this event is, of course, the Isis and Ra dragons. Getting the Dial dragon on the way there makes me a very happy chappy, because he's one of my favourites. He just looks ridiculous. Who would think of making a crocodile dragon? Who? I don't know, but whoever it was, mwah! I love you. I love you so much. So, for now, guys, best of luck on the event. Log in frequently, do your quests, and um, I hope you get both of the Divines very soon. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.